Hey folks, um, I'm just going to show you how I call rose my maker's mark into uh, spoons, scoops, whatever type of wood you're carving using um, just my Mora knife right here, my Mora um, carving knife, cinnamon, and a smooth rock for burnishing. So um, first thing to keep in mind is um, if you're going to be using a carving knife like this, um, it's got a bigger blade and you only really are using the tip. Um, so there's going to be a lot of blade around that you're not using. So some people um, put painter's tape over the rest of the blade um, to protect themselves. Um, if you're, you know, want to be really risky, you could hold it like a pencil. And as long as you put the leverage on the back of the blade and hold on the sides, the rest of this, um, I don't know, maybe someone has something against that method, but it works out fine if you're not doing anything too crazy. Um, so first thing I do is um, I flip over your spoon, whatever you're going to work on, find your spot, take your time, um, and don't apply a whole ton of pressure um, because if something goes wrong and you're applying a whole ton of muscle, something that you really don't need to, um, it's going to go really wrong. So I'm going to just take this, make my first line, and this is just my maker's mark that I'm making. Then it's easier if you're just always going in the same direction. So I'm rotating the piece as opposed to actually moving the knife around. So cut the wood fibers open just like that. And so I'm, I'm done using my knife. I'm using my knife. Now my goal with the cinnamon is going to be to put the cinnamon in the uh, fibers that are split open there. So I'm just going to this, rub it around. There's other things you can use for this, like ash, charcoal, any really fine, dark spice, or you know, I suppose you could do any kind of like, I know some people do coffee grounds that are really fine, but So once you think you're got enough rubbed in there, next thing you want to do is take whatever your burnishing iron is, and you, you could use the back of the knife, I guess, the back side of the blade, but take whatever you're going to use to burnish. This is just a smooth rock, and you're going to burnish the wood fibers back shut. So now it's almost disappeared. over it. I can't feel anything. So you can barely even see anything. But my last step is going to put a little bit of oil on my hand and rub it on this. So I'm going to take this and then so you can barely see the symbol, and then pops right out after a little bit of oil. Or you could do water, whatever, if you just wanted to see it. But in this case, now I'm just going to oil the spoon. This is a mineral oil beeswax mixture. This is the last step. I already burnished the whole spoon. After burnishing the whole spoon, then I did the maker's mark. And... Uh, yeah, I can't feel the cuts. Um, it's just a nice small little maker's mark. Let me see if I can get it. Focus a little closer. That's how you do it. All right. Well, I hope you liked the video. Just trying to share some things I learned from other people and places too. So, thanks for watching.